Hello YouTube, the Screw Generation. This video is about the evolution of the New World Translation throughout the years. You see this is the latest version, and this was the first version. So, I'm just gonna go through a few verses to show some changes that occurred throughout the years. This is the 1950 version. I'm just gonna show this quick. 50. 1950. I won't use this one. This is a 51 revised. 50. 50. 51. Because this is the verses I'm gonna show are the same in the 50 and the 51. So to save time, I'll just show the 50. This is the 61 version. 61. This is the interlinear from 69. 1969 interlinear this is the 1981 I don't have the 71 I just uh, never was able to get it so this is hey, this oh yeah 71 new edition of 81 so this is the revised 71 so I don't have the 71 I have the 81 but I won't show it because the verses I'm gonna show are the same as the 84 I will show it for one verse I put the marker here this is the 84 84. This is the interlinear of 85. 85. King, kingdom interlinear. This is the 2006 printing of the 1984. This is where the many changes occur before the 2013 version. So this is the 84. And we turn the page, we see. 61, 81, 84. And we see below here 2006 printing. So there are some changing changes between the 86, uh, 2006 and the 84, 85 versions. And this is the most recent one. The 2013 version. The major changes here, the Brian Garcia already has a video revising this New World Translation, so I won't make a revision of this one alone. Uh, I'll put a link below my video of his revision. It's ma uh, mainly they changed some wordings to make it more user-friendly, like the NIV, to attract more readers to uh, this uh, false version. Okay, so I'm going to analyze first uh, Acts 10.36. Mm. Okay. He sent out the word to the sons of Israel to declare to them the good news of peace through Jesus Christ. This one is Lord of all others. Okay, they insert it. We know that the, the New World Translation inserts the doctrines of the Watchtower because the Bible doesn't agree with the Watchtower. So they added all others here. Jesus Christ is Lord of all others. They can't have that because they say God is the Lord of all. So Jesus is the Lord of all others. So they added this. This is not in the Greek we will see when we reach the interlinears. And they didn't put it in bracket. They have a rule where they say that when they add words to uh, explain the text better, they put brackets. Brackets. In the English readings, interlinear and main, brackets occur. These denote that the word or words enclosed have been inserted by the translator to make some application that is shown by the Greek word or to show something that is understood along with the Greek word because of its grammatical form. So words added are supposed to be in brackets. This is from the interlinear, the Kingdom Interlinear Translation of 1969. But they didn't follow this rule in this one. This is 1961. Okay, we see others. All others. Jesus Christ is the one. This one is Lord of all others. Here they put the brackets. We'll see what will happen with the brackets as time evolves. This is the Kingdom into Linear, 1969, 1036. See the Greek here, Jesus Christ, this is of all them Lord. This word is not others, it's them. This, you see on the right, this one is Lord of all others. You see they add the others here. We see the manipulation of the watchtower to insert their doctrines. 
This is the 1984, 1036. And we see here they put the others in brackets. Learn of all others. Then we see the 1985 kingdom where it's still 1036. Jesus Christ, this is of all them, Lord. 36, all others, again in brackets. So in 61, the brackets appeared, and in 85, they will disappear in the 2006 version. This is where the, all the brackets disappear to make it seem like the Greek text says others. Okay. Jesus Christ, this one is Lord of all others. See the brackets disappear. And of course the 2013. Jesus Christ, this one is Lord of all. Hey. Oh, I didn't know this. The others have disappeared. Oh, this is pretty nice. This one is Lord of all. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Okay, now we go to Acts 20, 28. Okay, where is it? It's here. Pay attention to yourselves and to all the flock among which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers to shepherd the congregation of God which he purchased with the blood of his own son. See son in brackets, and also the phrase is changed. If you check this in other Bibles, if you want to be curious, if you're a Jehovah Witness, the verse reads, to shepherd the congregation of God, which he purchased with his own blood. So it seems to say God purchased the congregation with his own blood. So we have a little A here. If you go see A, see appendix under Acts 20.28. So I bookmarked it. Appendix, Acts 20.28. Grammatically, this passage could be translated as in the King James Version and Douay Version with his own blood. In such cases, the verses would be saying that God purchased his congregation with his own blood. That has been a difficult uh, thought with many. That is all, doubtless why ACD, the Syriac Version, Nestorian manuscripts with important marginal readings of Archaean, Archaean revision of their text read the congregation of the Lord instead of the congregation of God. But the word in the Greek is God, not Lord. So some versions have taken off God but Lord in their translations to make it Lord who purchased the, the church with his own blood instead of God who purchased the church with his own blood. Anyway, so this is uh, interesting. We'll, we'll see it when we get to the Greek. Now the 1961 version. I'll just take off. Pay attention to yourselves. Uh, uh, congregation of God, which he purchased with the blood of his own son. So we see the interlinear. Okay, the Ecclesia of, of God, of the God, which he reserved for self through the blood of, of the own. So here they add in parentheses one, but the text reads, which Ecclesia of God, which he reserved the self through the blood of the home. So they phrase it to sound, which he purchased with the blood of his own son. Anyways, son is not in the text, and there's the brackets. Eventually the brackets will magically disappear. I'm not here to argue over the doctrine, but just to show the changes that occurred. Now the 1984 version, Acts 20, 28. Okay. The shepherd congregation of God, which purchased with the blood of his, of his own son again. The 1985 will be the same, so I'll skip it. I'll go straight to the 2006 to say here. Which he purchased with the blood of his own son. So we see the brackets disappear in the 2006 version. Let's see what happens in the 2013 version. Okay, here it is. 
He purchased with the blood of his own son. Okay, so here they don't want to say that they've, they've added certain words. Next one is Philippians 2 9. 12 9. For this very reason, also God exalted him to his superior position and kindly gave him the name that is above every other name. The others added, as we'll see later on. The text is supposed to read, gave him the name that is above every name. But they don't want to say name because this is seen to put him in a position where God is supposed to be. So they need to change that. Philippians 2.9 in the 1961. Gave him a name that is above every other name. Still no brackets in the 1961. Let's see the kingdom interlinear of 1969. Philippians 2, 9. And, okay, through which also the God him put high up over and he graciously gave to him the name, the over every name the name over every name in the margin every other name the others added still no bra no brackets now this is where we get the 1981 version just to show something kindly gave him the name that is above every other name still no brackets in 1981 when do the brackets appear is there any brackets anywhere 1984 version. Exalted him to a superior position and can we give him the name that is above every other name? Oh, there's the brackets. So the brackets appeared in 1984. So here they state that they did add brackets. Now the interlinear of 1985. To him, the name, the over every name. That is above every other name. We see the brackets right here. Let's see the 2006 version. Is there any brackets in the 2006 version? Kindly gave him the name that is above every other name. The brackets disappear. Mysteriously. So the brackets were only inserted 84, 85, two years. Two years they admitted they added the word. Now suddenly, it seems, note that uh, the Kingdom Interlinear Translation is no longer published. So that was the 1985. They stopped publishing it after a while. And in 2006, while they stopped printing the Interlinear, they stopped printing the Greek, so you can't check for yourself the Greek. In 2006, they changed, they take off all the brackets to make it appear all the words they added are in the Greek. But you can't check it anymore because they don't publish it in Jolinear. So that's the trick. 2013. Let's see if we'll get a surprise. Uh, and can we gave him the name that is above every other name? Other is still without the brackets. Thank you, Watchtower. Okay, for Hebrews 1.6, let all of God's angels worship or do obeisance to him. We start with the 1950. 1.6 uh, here. But when he uh, again brings his firstborn into the inhabited earth, he says, and let all God's angels worship, worship him. There's a little circle here. Uh, worship. Go on the side, the circle says James 127. You can ch check that for yourself there. At the bottom, it's got nothing to do with, with the asterisk. That's an A. Your worship add a little circle. Okay, so the 61 here, Hebrews 1 6. 
worship. Angels worship them. No marks, no asterisks, no letters. Kingdom interlinear 1969. Let do obeisance to him, towards him. They put that in the Greek, and in the English, they put worship. Let all God's angel worship him. The 1981, oh, changes are on the rise. 1981, Hebrews 1.6. Do obeisance, whichever way you pronounce this, do obeisance to him. 1984, Hebrews 1.6, let all God's angel do obeisance to him. There's a little, little asterisk here. You go Hebrews 1.6, or let worship, Greek, proskineho, something like that. Proskinesetosan, Latin, adore. So oh, they agree on worship here too. Now the kingdom interlinear of 1985. The Greek again obeisance, obeisance, and the Hebrew, the the the, the Hebrew, the English, obeisance. This time both call it obeisance. 2006 will be the same. 2013. Do obeisance to him. And the little star here, let's see the little star, 1-6, or bow down to him. See how they twist it? Now it's not obeisance, it's not worship, it's bow down. It could mean some things like Abraham, and when you bow down to the people, yeah, it just doesn't mean really anything. Okay, the next one is 1 Corinthians 14, 14 to 16. 14 starts here, so I'll go to the next page here, 1950 New Testament. If I'm praying in a tongue, it is my gift of the Spirit that is praying. Okay, they add my gift of. See, there's a little A. Literally, it is my Spirit. Why did they change the Bible? Because you can't have a spirit. When you die, that's it. Soul sleep. If you have a spirit, then you might keep on living, right? So it says this four times. No brackets. 1961 here. 1414. There you see the brackets. My gift of the spirit. It's there four times. Gift of the my mind, gift of the spirit, and there's four times somewhere. So here they have the brackets. That's the 61. This one is the interlinear 1969. We see here, forever for I am praying to tongues, the spirit of me is praying. Here they put my gift of the spirit again here. My gift of the spirit, my gift of the spirit. So we see they have the brackets, and the interlinear says, it's my spirit that is praying. Interlinear of 85, 1414, I am praying it's on the spirit of me. My gift of the spirit. The 84 and 81 say the same thing. The 2006, that's the magical Bible where all the brackets disappear, where all the brackets go, go to die. 1414, it is my gift of the Spirit. Miraculously, it's now in the Greek. They stopped printing the 1985 interlinear, so they can do what they want now, right? 2010, uh, 13, 1414. My gift of the spirit, no brackets, in the 2013. Now the next one is Colossians 1.16.17, all other things. 
talking about the creation by Christ. Okay, so here we start at 16, because by means of him, or by him, all other things were created, like this four times. All other things. Now there's a little A. Go down here. All other as at Luke 13, 2, 4, and elsewhere. They don't say that they've added the others. 1961, Colossians 1, 16, 17, all other. Now we see the brackets here. All other things have been created, all other, again. So it's four times in there. You put the brackets, at least, <clears throat> according to their rules, where they have to put the brackets when they insert words for ex uh, better explanation. All things, see, all things in the heaven and the earth, the things visible, the things invisible, trolls, blah, 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 blah. all things through him and into here. Other, all other things were created. All other things have been created through him. He is before all other things. And by means of him, all other things. Colossians 1.16, that's the 1984 year. 1981 is the same thing. All other. All asterisk at 1.16. All other as in Luke 11.42. 41.42. Uh, 1985 until linear, all things. Well, the things is parentheses on things. They didn't put no box around things, so they imply that things is meant very well. But other, they add the little things. Asterix again, as in Luke again. Now the 2006 were all brackets go to die, all other things. No more brackets. Uh, all other things. 2010 is the same. 116, all other things. So the much star is lying. They imply that it's in the Greek. No Jehovah Witness can check anymore. Unless they have the old interlinear. Okay, another change that uh, Brian Garcia doesn't show for uh, this new perversion is an axe, or they insert the governing body. They don't insert it in the text, per se, but in the introduction. They have an introduction, Acts of the Apostles, and they go to 15, their favorite verse on blood, and letter from the governing body, verses 22 to 29. Abstain from blood. So they insert the meaning of the governing body in the introduction. Eventually, they'll insert governing body in the text itself. So I think that's it. Thanks for watching.